Hello, this is the review of the movie Simbi Baksha. I watched it today evening and on top of my head its uh, rating is about 6.5 out of 10, uh, which is quite a good rating. Um, and before I go, there's a disclaimer. I'm no expert in movie making, but I am a viewer, so I know what I want. Um, and still, 6.5 is a very good store. score, yeah? Um, okay, so, the good. Um, the acting has actually surpassed my expectations. Uh, many of the cast, they have done exceptionally well. Uh, the dialogue delivery was uh, good too. Ladoji is a good find in the past few years. Uh, her dialogue delivery is quite natural and she uh, does not have an official Songka speaking or official Songka dialect which we usually normally see in Bhutanese movies. Like um, she did not have dialogues like uh, those things like which are uh, typical in every Bhutanese movie. Well, Dash Kenduji, he tried to put in some but at some is okay, but when it exceeds and when it's repeated in every other dialogue spoken by every other cast members, that becomes excessive. And Hatoji has um, a very, uh, what do you call that, an informal speech, which we usually do. I was sad that she, her dialogues were quite cheesy at some points uh, and she had uh, little screen time, but uh, enough about Hatoji. Uh, about the actors, okay, Pema and Dundin, they are both uh, good actors. Who am I to say? I can't even act right now. I'm having a tough time doing this in front of a camera. Anyway, this is not about me. But I would like to say Dundin when he appears at Dundin or Dundin. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. But his appearance in every frame of the movie was wonderful. He captured all the screen time. Uh, he did not have much dialogue del delivery, so I can't comment on that. But his presence was good. Um, among other things, before I get to the story, there was one song by Jurmi. She's a rock star, I really tell you. And this song, Well, it was fabulous, I tell you. Um, it uh, resonated and she sounded fierce and uh, the whole auditorium was uh, filled with a beautiful melody with this. Uh, she's, I think, one of the best singers we have today. Okay, maybe I'm getting too much attention to the female lead. But they were good, so I had to tell. Anyway, coming to the story, there was some problem because I could tell at some points that uh, where the story was heading. I said to myself when I was watching the movie that they're trying to make a Bhutanese equivalent of a Bhagban. A Bhutanese filmmakers have a problem that, uh, not a problem, it's, they're talented in their own ways, but what I think is uh, they're trying to instill lessons in every other movie. And this movie you tried it too. So this is not a movie which you'll find comfortable watching with your parents. No. Because then, every other week, they'll be quoting this movie. And uh, even though the mid scene was problematic, the ending was quite um, exhilarating. You know, you know, I I was uh, I was satisfied with how it ends. And uh, spoilers. I don't think that's a spoiler. But anyway, so the guy and the girl meet after a year in a temple, and uh, they directly go meet the parents, and the parents call her daughter-in-law. The problem with this movie was, okay, now I'm getting to the right point. Finally, I, I've been circling all around. So the problem with this movie is, so there's no proper montage, you know, you, the boy meets girl, and in the next frame, we found out they're, that they're already a couple. Because we are not able to see the difference between those, you know. They, they needed some fillers. 
to know where they're headed. We, we actually got that they are a couple because they are saying it to themselves. But if there was a montage, uh, very small scenes where they could be seen doing this and that, and we could find that, okay, now because of this, they became a couple. That is an expert movie critic giving some ideas to the talented filmmakers. <laughs> but all in all, it was a good, enjoyable movie. I enjoyed it. And I hope you go and watch the movie too. You'll not be disappointed. Go with an open mind. Yes. Cheers. Next time. 6.5 out of 10.